Good morning. We are looking at some isolated showers across the area right now, but no thunderstorms just yet. Those should be here, though, within the next couple hours or so. So as we stand right now, a lot of that rain that we saw earlier is now moving through the Eastman and Dublin area with more rain on the way. And this is all going to be coming from this cold front that you still see developing well off towards our west at the moment. So it looks like we're beginning to see that squall line develop just towards our north, and that's what's going to give us that slight chance of severe weather. Now, once again, the spots that are going to be seeing it this best is going to be closer towards Upsilon Lamar and Butts County. For a lot more of us, we're not really expecting widespread severe thunderstorms, but what we could see is potential for one of those isolated stronger to severe storms to pop up anywhere from Macon, Warner Robins up towards the north. I think you're down towards the south, looking at Dublin, Perry, down into Crips County. You're looking just fine. I'm going to show you why right now. So I was talking about that squall line just a minute ago. This is going to be it as it approaches middle Georgia. That's this area in red right here. What you see with these things is not only strong wind and heavy rain, but you could also see some thunderstorms and some very strong straight line winds moving through with something like this. And these are going to move through very quickly, but there is some good news. It's going to begin to break down as it works its way through our area. And you can see that right here, not nearly as defined as it was when it was passing through the Atlanta area. And even by this evening, when it moves through you guys down in Dublin or down there in Telfair County, Looks like it's going to be broken up quite a bit. And there's a chance you might not even see any thunderstorms at all when that heads through your area. Okay, now once again, wind is going to be the big thing to watch out for. And I'm going to break that down in detail in just a second. But rain is also going to be very heavy at times. We could see a majority of that half an inch of rain at one time. Now, I'll get to more on that in a second as well. As far as tornadoes are concerned, it can't be completely ruled on out. But the way it stands right now, it does not look likely at all for those to move on through. And once again, wind gusts are going to be the big thing to watch out for. This is going to be what it looks like closer to about noon. So you're going to see some spots here and there. They're going to range from 30 to 35 miles per hour. Most of us though are going to be somewhere between the 20 and 25 mile per hour range consistently throughout the day today. And when it comes to rain totals, I think everyone's going to be in between the half an inch to a full inch mark with a lot of that coming through when that squall line actually passes us by. OK, let's check this out real quick on the seven day. You are going to see another chance of thunderstorms on Sunday, but as it stands right now, severe weather is not expected with that one. Steady rain should start up overnight on Friday, last all the way through next Tuesday. Hopefully this should be enough to get us out of that slight drought that we're still seeing at the moment. And here's going to be a quick look at your fishing game forecast brought to you by Harrison's Body Shop. An excellent time for later today is going to be around 7 o'clock.